Welcome back. What news from Ratai? Well, the bailiff read Sir Divish's decree, and now I'm officially bailiff of Pribislavitz. Then allow me to congratulate you. What will be your first step? First, I'll, um... I'll, uh... Hmm. Actually, I'm not quite sure. What would you recommend? As it happens, I already sought a few things in your absence. You might have noticed that the first people have come from Ratai. Yeah, I saw some heading here right away. So when they arrived, I was able to start clearing building plots with them. After they'd erected some temporary dwellings, that is. So we're ready to get things started? As long as you know what you want to build, I can show these new people what to do. We'll be building on the sites we've measured out. You can go and look them over first, if you like. I'll do that. I'll see what's going to be built where. Nevertheless... I doubt you'll be able to figure that out just from looking at the sites. How do I choose what to build where? I've already given it some thought on your behalf. I even wrote it all down in the accounts ledger. Everything will be recorded there. I'll make a note of every change as we proceed. Thanks. That'll be a big help. And where can I find this book? It will always be kept at the Rat House. Well, there's nothing here, so we'll have to build everything. Ale house, bakery, butchers, rat house. Did I mention ale house? Eventually. But be warned. To begin with, it's always best to start with facilities that will be producing construction materials for everything else. And since we'll mainly be using timber, it makes sense to set up a woodcutter's camp. All right. And then what? That depends. Every building has its use. You'll soon get the grasp of it, and it's all in the ledger. What about the workers' wages and buying materials for artisans? The money must be put in the trunk here. The expenditures for wages and materials will be taken from it, so you should keep it topped up to prevent delays. It reminds me, there's the matter of my own pay to be resolved. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Sir Divish guaranteed me a fixed income. What's more, this job is an exceptionally big one. I see. But how much are you thinking? I have a record of payment here somewhere. Hmm. Here it is. Let's say one quarter more than that. Well, as you said yourself, it's just a continuation of your work for Sir Divish, so I see no reason to change the conditions now. Well, all right. It seems we understand each other. I agree. Good. I'll put your wages in the trunk, too. Are you sure it's quite safe? Quite. Only you and I shall have a key and access to the trunk. Besides, we'll have guards on watch here. Ah, that's reassuring. That's about all to begin with. If you need any more details, I'll be happy to explain things to you. Could you explain something to me? How can I get new people to come to the village? Don't worry about that. Folk will gradually turn up of their own accord when there are houses for them. Each building can house a certain number of people. The bigger the house, the more inhabitants. And the more space you have for them, the more country folk will come here in search of a better livelihood. What about tradesmen? I can find you fairly competent ones. But if you can get really skilled artisans, it will certainly be a boon for the village income. Although it's not all that easy to get skilled people, you could ask around. I see. Any suggestions? Hmm. You could try asking the two Sassau armourers for a start. They're always at each other's throats, so maybe one of them could work here. But don't forget to get a forge and armoury workshop set up for him. Otherwise, you'll only be wasting his time. Right. I'll go and have a word with them later. I must give some thought to who else would come in handy here. Thanks. What are my duties as bailiff? 
As bailiff, you must see to it that the village grows and prospers. You'll have to resolve disputes between citizens and decide what I should have built. The coin for it will come from your own purse. Basically, you'll have to keep the whole locality under control. But you can't just do whatever you like. You're still answerable to Sir Divish, as am I. Which means... Which means that if the folk here are unhappy, word will soon get to Sir Divish, and he'll put you in your place. So you'd better see to it that there's no thieving, the folk have jobs to do, and their wages are paid. Of course. I'll keep a close eye on things. Nothing, actually. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? We'll need woodcutters to ensure timber supply for building. It's impossible. Check what you need in the ledger. I'd like to build the rat house. It's impossible. Check what you need in the ledger. I'd rather not build anything just now. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? Trade is important. And we'll have a wagon bringing goods in, so we'll build a trader's store. It's impossible. Check what you need in the ledger. I'd rather not build anything just now. Yeah.
There's another unpleasant matter for you to handle. Nothing too terrible, I hope. That's for you to decide, Master Bailiff. As you know, the woods and everything in them belong to our liege lord. He gave you the right to make use of them. But as far as I know, no one else is allowed to hunt there. <sighs> Let me guess. Some of our fold are putting game on their tables from our woods, and I have to deal with them. Just so. A case like this ought to be judged by his lordship himself, but I fear Sir Divish might be a little too strict in this matter. So what are my options? You can hand the poachers over to justice, let them off with a warning, or, of course, one can always turn a blind eye and leave it in the hands of God. What's your decision? We'll confiscate the poach game and put the fear of God into the culprit so they don't do it again. No point in carrying it any higher. We should keep our own affairs in order. A wise decision, Henry. I'll see to it. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? Trade is important, and we'll have a wagon bringing goods in, so we'll build a trader store. It's impossible. Check what you need in the ledger. I'd rather not build anything just now. Never!
I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? We've already finished everything successfully. Trade is important, and we'll have a wagon bringing goods in, so we'll build a trader store. It's impossible. Check what you need in the ledger. I'd rather not build anything just now. Could you explain something to me? How do I build houses? First, find out how much it'll cost, and whether the upkeep won't ruin you. Everything is written in the ledger. You can check it all there, or just come and see me. Sure. How do the accounts work? Hmm. The most important thing is to know how much profit your buildings generate. And what they cost to operate. That's written on the very first page of the ledger, which will be kept at the Rat House. Whenever we erect a new building, I record it there. And you'll find all the profit generated by the village in the trunk with the ledger. And what if we spend more than we earn? Then you'll have to put the amount necessary for covering the operating costs into the trunk. I see. Probably best to have a little extra there for a rainy day then. How do operating costs work? Those are the workers' wages. Costs of material and equipment for tradesmen and so on. And what if I don't have enough coin? Then production will grind to a halt. Watch out for that. Folks soon get grouchy if they're not getting paid. The amount needed each day is recorded in the accounts ledger too. So you should keep enough in the trunk to cover the wages. And how do I pay the workers? Don't concern yourself about that. I'll take care of it. As long as you provide the coin. So I could put enough money there for, say, three days in advance? Indeed. Simple enough, isn't it? All right. Thanks. Nothing, actually. So, how am I doing with the village? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You're still far from having the income you need to make the village prosper. Hmm. Well, the village isn't ready yet for the expansion Sir Divish is planning. The church is still in ruins. Doesn't create a good impression. We're on the right track, but we haven't reached the end yet. All right, I'll get stuck in. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? That rickety old footbridge won't do. We need a proper bridge and a firm road. It's impossible. Check what you need in the ledger. I'd rather not build anything just now. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be?
We'll need woodcutters to ensure timber supply for building. Good. We've got everything. Come along with me to the site where we'll be building. We're going to build here? Right here. Ready to start? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've still got the means. We'll get stuck in then. Yeah. I want to build something. 
Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? That rickety old footbridge won't do. We need a proper bridge and a firm road. Very well. Come along with me. Once we're there, I'll oversee the building, so they don't botch anything. going to build here? Yes. Shall we get started? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've got what we need. Let's get to work. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? Trade is important, and we'll have a wagon bringing goods in, so we'll build a trader store. Very well. Come along with me. Once we're there, I'll oversee the building, so they don't botch anything. We're going to build here? Yes. Shall we get started? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've still got the means. We'll get stuck in then. What's the matter here? This bitch here tried to kill me. Have her clapped in the stocks where she belongs. That's not true, Master Bailiff, sir. He got drunk, like he always does, and ate who knows what kind of slop somewhere. You know very well what it was what poisoned me. You're trying to get rid of me and don't think I don't know it. Enough. One at a time. Tell me what happened. What makes you think she tried to poison you? She hates me. She wants to put me in the ground and then take the farm. I can see it in her eyes. She's just wishing for the day I'm dead. But she'll never see it, because I'll throw her out on her ear. Throw me out? From my own home? You useless, ale-swilling pig. Have you forgotten who got you a roof over your head? 
Just look at her, sir. You can see for yourself what a harpy she is. I came home after one or two ales at the tavern, ate my supper, what was left on the table for me, and went to bed. And in the morning, I woke up with my guts in agony. My head was on fire. I thought my last hour had come. If it wasn't for the old herb woman, she'd already have me in the ground. Have you forgotten the part about battering me and throwing up in the doorway? Shut your mouth, you whore! Quiet! Good wife, tell me your side of the story. Sir, that beast is good for nothing but drinking away my dowry with his cronies. If he puts his hand to a flail at all, it's only to beat me with it. We were thrown out of the farm near Ledechko that I got as a dowry because this fool let it go to ruin and got us into debt, too. They threw us out because you wouldn't back me up to the bailiff. Because I couldn't hold my head up if I lied to cover your useless ass. That's got nothing to do with you poisoning me. He boozes from morning till night and beats me, says I don't take good enough care of him. And all he does is sit on his ass expecting me to run around cooking and cleaning for him. And now he wants to drive me out of the village saying I tried to kill him. What would I do then? Tell me about how you were poisoned, as you claim. I came home and there was a bowl of cabbage soup and a pitcher of wine on the table. So I had it and went to bed. I woke up in the early hours and had to run to the outhouse. Spewing from both ends, I was. I was burning up so much you could light a torch off me. And this witch here laughing up her sleeve. She wouldn't even call the herb woman for me. If I had to call the herb woman every time you get boozed up, she might as well move in with us. When I was writhing in agony on the ground, I heard her say clear as day, Ha! You got what was coming to you. Is that true? No, he's lying. What do you think happened, good wife? Nothing what hasn't been a hundred times before. He was crooked as a bishop again, and I could already hear him in the courtyard, retching and spewing. I had his supper waiting on the table, because otherwise there'd be hell to pay. Only there's no pleasing the pig. Where's the meat? And what have you. And when I told him God's honest truth, that there's no meat, cause he drank all our money away, he laid into me like a madman. One slap was all you got. What was less than you deserved for your evil tongue? I ran off and hid in the barn till he'd calmed down. When I could hear him snoring like a pig, I came inside again. After a while, he started throwing up and he was spewing till dawn. Who knows what he ate when he was boozed up? Or it was the booze itself done it. And what about the herb woman? I went for her in the end. Three groschen I had to give her for some wormwood potion. I could have done that myself for nothing. And then he claimed I poisoned him. Now I've heard enough. You, farmer, won't touch another drop of booze or I'll leave you in the stocks to dry out. And if you raise your hand to your wife again, I'll take a bludgeon to you. But a drink or two? No buts. There'll be no half measures with you. Thank you, Master Bailiff. Thank you a thousandfold. You're a wise and just man. Welcome, Henry. So, how am I doing with the village? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You're still far from having the income you need to make the village prosper. You'll need to get the tradesmen working better and creating space for more people. The church is still in ruins. Doesn't create a good impression. 
We're on the right track, but we haven't reached the end yet. All right, I'll get stuck in. Hey, Henry comes here. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? Let's start repairing the church. Let's go to the site. I'll see to the building. Gonna build here? Right here. Ready to start? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've got what we need. Let's get to work. God save you, Henry.
want to build something? Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? With all the woods around, we ought to keep bees here. There's always a demand for honey. Good. We've got everything. Come along with me to the site where we'll be building. We're going to build here? Right here. Ready to start? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. All good. We can start construction. at this time um we have a problem with water that is with the stream with the uh, use of the stream the stream what seems to be the trouble sir they won't let me have a shit um <laughs> what was that your locator here won't let people go for a shit god give me strength um <laughs> master locator would uh would you be so kind as to cast some light on the matter? I never forbade anyone to sh... to defecate. It's not something that can be prohibited anyway. You did so. All I asked was that people did their... business further downstream. After all, we don't want our water supply contaminated. It could cause disease. What kind of disease? Digestive disorders, fever, even death. Ah, what a load of nonsense. We always poured our shit out right there on the road. They even do that in Prague, from what I've heard. What else would they do with it? Is it true about Prague? Admittedly, in many cases, yes. But often there's no other option. The wealthier citizens have a latrine in their courtyard which they empty out whenever necessary. But the common folk do empty their chamber pots on the streets. See now. But it's also said that if the Turks ever try to attack Prague, it's the stink that will hold them back, not the walls. What do you suggest, Master Marius? Let the people answer the call of nature at least 100 feet downstream from the village. What? That far? What if I get the runs? I'd shit myself before getting there. I've decided. Defecating will only be allowed at least 100 feet from the village. But, sir... A wise decision, Henry. Well, finally we have permission to go and shit again. I'll go and tell the fellows we can go to the stream. It's been a tough few days. You mean you haven't been since... No, don't say it. I don't even want to know. Yeah.
welcome, Henry. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? I'd like to build the rat house. Good. We've got everything. Come along with me to the site where we'll be building. We're going to build here? Yes. Shall we get started? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've got what we need. Let's get to work. Yeah.
Good day, Henry. I must reward you for saving my livelihood. If folk believed the stories, well, I dread to think how it could have ended up. But the bad stone wasn't even from your quarry. Still, sometimes words can hurt a man more than a blow from a mace. Here's your reward. You've earned it, lad. I'm here at the behest of Sir Divis. I'm looking for the overseer of this quarry. Would that be you, Goodman? Aye, that's me. What can I do for you? Sir Divish has decided to rebuild Privislavitz, and he's entrusted me to take charge, along with his locator. Aha, uh -huh. so it's you. I heard about Sir Divish's plans. What is it you need, then? Well, we've started with the reconstruction work, but we need more than just timber. You need stone for the construction? Exactly. And for repairing the church. Well, now. You're really not doing things by halves, are you? The thing is, though, we're already working flat out supplying stone for the monastery construction in Sassau. I can't cut back on their supplies. Sir Divish wouldn't be at all pleased. But I really need that stone. Well, I suppose I could try and hire a few more quarrymen to increase production. But we can't transport it. Even Sassau sends their own wagon here. Have you got someone to carry the stone? I've got my own merchant. He'll take care of it with his hired hands. Splendid. So let's talk about the price. The stone is for Sir Divish. It's for a village he wants to rebuild as quickly as possible. I doubt he'd take it well that the overseer of his own quarry is overcharging him for it. Well, you have a point. I'll take that into account in the price. That's better. Excellent. We'll start sending the stone as soon as your merchant gets here. Yeah. May the Lord watch over you, Henry.
So, how am I doing with the village? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You're still far from having the income you need to make the village prosper. You'll need to get the tradesmen working better and creating space for more people. I see the church is keeping the rain out at least. Still needs work, though. We're on the right track, but we haven't reached the end yet. All right, I'll get stuck in. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? I'd like to extend my rat house. Let's go to the site. I'll see to the building. We're going to build here? Indeed. Can we begin? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. All good. We can start construction. Save you, Henry. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? I could use an alchemy lab at the rat house. Let's go to the site. I'll see to the building. We're going to build here? Right here. Ready to start? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've got what we need. Let's get to work. <laughs> 